Today we are gonna be going over cutting a bob. We're probably gonna alter this into a box bob today. We are going to section out the head. So I'm gonna go straight down the center. Obviously uh, part this wherever your guest parts their hair. Don't just uh, take it down the center and they have a side parting. So go straight down center to the crown. Comb that over. And we're going to separate front and back. And I'll comb that hair in the direction I want to part it. And then I'll go from that high point down to the hairline right here behind the ear. Now I'm going to go straight down the center back. Then once we get that split in two, I'm going to give myself about an inch. You don't want to take too much hair for your first section, but also I don't really need to like some people take like quarter of an inch and start there. I really don't think you need to because the elevation is going to happen within itself. And I'll explain that in a second. For a balanced bob, I like to work both sides uh, at the same time. So I'll go one side, then right to the other side um, just to make sure that I continue that balanced shape. I'm going to base everything off of this guideline here. So this line I have, that's what I'm gonna base the entire haircut off of. Here, my eyes are level. Bring the scissor in and start my cut. Little backhand, eyes are still level. When we're working with the head shape, the head shape right here is curved. So 90 degrees straight out from this point is here. So anything above that's layering. And I don't really want to layer the bottom. So that's why I cut all of this hair, this whole inch and a half. I cut it right straight flat on the base. And that's going to give me almost my 45 degree angle in a way. Because 90 would be here, 45 is half of that, 0 is below that, right? So I'm cutting it down there, but the angle at which I hold it out from the head still has a nice graduation feel to it. As I move up, the head shape, I'm gonna go lighter on my section. So I won't go an inch and a half. I'll go about quarter of an inch. You should be able to see through that section. See how I can see underneath it? Should be able to see through it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a previously cut section. I just heard a loud bang and I'm the only one here. And it's creepy because we're in the woods. Somebody uh, comes in here and kidnaps me. Let me know. Or let someone know. Don't, don't let me know. I'll know. All right. So underneath here is my guideline. I'm going to bring that back to me. Now, I want to cut this as a balanced shape. So I need to make sure. And I want it to be nice and light. So I'm going to comb up in the air. And then that's where I'm going to cut it. So check your elevation here. And then I'm going to work my way across. We'll start to get that little forward progression in our A-line feel because of the over direction back to me. And I like cutting horizontally because it really focuses in on um, the shape part of it, the horizontal shape. But the challenge is that you got to stay consistent in that vertical, which you barely have any of it in your hand. The guide is right there, right? So if that's my guideline there, that's where I'm going to cut it right there now as i start working with this elevation i might even go in and just point cut this line so it's not so blunt because a point cut line is a lot softer so this shape here is quite strong horizontally now because we're going to push a little weight to the front i want to start going from this horizontal line or the slight diagonal forward line to more of a vertical line as I work towards the ear. We're gonna go pie shape sectioning up to that hairline moment where we were at at the beginning. Think of it as taking pieces of the pie from this point forward. So boom, 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 All right? And now I don't need to bounce from side to side. I'll do this side and then I'll do the, the left side. A rule for cutting a bob is your thumb is always pointed in the direction you're going. I'm gonna bring this to my hand. You can see the guide, comb it here, bringing everything back to that point. I can see my previous line in the haircut. 
we're gonna have this be a little more textured. So I'm going to point cut my line. This top point is the most crucial part because you could get done with the bob and have a heavy shelf sitting on the top of the haircut. And I don't want that. I want it to be nice and light all the way through. So it's really important for me to recomb, give a little extra elevation and remove this corner as opposed to just trying to get this whole section done, getting into this part of my hand that has less tension. And now we're gonna have too much length there. Take another piece of the pie. I'm gonna bring that back. Now again, just like before, this part here is really important. You need to make sure you have the elevation correct. If it's not high enough, you will get a heavy shape in your haircut. I don't come all the way back. I'm just coming straight back off the head. So I use the side of the head as a guideline and I bring everything straight back in a line to that. I wanna bring everything to that point. If it's too low, you gotta think this is 90, right? So anything below this point is gonna be a shelf. This is zero degrees, cause this is 90 coming out. So now I need to get it up above that 90 degree point just to ensure that I won't have any weight line in the back. What I'm gonna do is comb all of this into my hand and I want a little freedom and kind of fun in the front of this haircut. So I'll comb this all up into my hand. I can see a little guideline right there. Just kind of have some fun with it, point cut into it. And then when I drop that down, now it's connected, but we play with the layers that we already had and also push that extra weight to the front, but have a little bit of connection into it. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let that down, bunch of movement. Now we can do high heat, low airflow. All right, so there's only literally one step left to finish this lovely lady. That's a cool shape though, right? So now I don't want to remove too much of these tails because it's kind of what makes the haircut, but I don't want them to be that long. So there we go. See how that just kind of changes that a little bit. And I'm just half closing the scissor, pinching what hair I want to cut. You could do this on the straight hair too. Like if they wore this straight, you could do this pinch cutting as well. But look at the difference. A little dated, nice. Get that strong base from the uh, horizontal cutting and then that kind of free, free flow textured cut around the rest of it. What do we think? 